Law enforcement agencies across the country are getting new technology not only to increase safety, but to make their jobs easier. The Hancock County Sheriff's Department is now one utilizing automatic license plate readers. Fox 59's Darius Johnson got an exclusive look at how it works and the success they've had so far. Patrolling the streets is never easy, but tools like automatic license plate readers have the potential to change that. It's an investigative tool um, for us, for other agencies, you know, for investigators, you know, to make our job hopefully uh, work better. Uh, and to capture, you know, people that needs to be captured or found. Sheriff Brad Burkhardt explains the reader works in conjunction with their body worn and car cameras, but also the National Crime Intelligence Center. And so it collects data um, of anything that would be entered into a state or federal database. So it's simpler like um, things like stolen vehicles, missing persons, uh, amber alerts, um, you know, violent uh, suspects in, in some sort. So anything can be, can be attached to a license plate can be entered into the system. That is the alert they got in August when deputies say teens stole a vehicle in Minnesota. They were headed to South Carolina on Interstate 70 when they drove past Sergeant Nick Ernstis. Pull over to the right. Attempted to do a traffic stop and the vehicle fled into Henry County. We made apprehension after the vehicle ran into a cornfield. Had I not had the license plate reader, I would have not probably known that that vehicle was a hot list vehicle as it drove by me. Burkhart says it's a tool that takes a lot of the manual work officers do on a daily basis while also enhancing their ability to catch the crooks. So I think, uh, you know, response time, technology, officer safety, you know, being able to automatically do those things on its own, you know, makes our jobs better, makes them safer and to do job easier. Reporting in Hancock County this evening, I'm Darius Johnson. The department is on a five year program in 2025. They will reassess and decide whether to upgrade or increase their fleet.